The COVID-19 pandemic forced thousands of Ohioans to depend on food pantries to feed their families. Pantry volunteers see that need up close. Tonight, News 5's Tracy Carlos has the story of a tiny pantry with an army of volunteers who could use some help. Tucked behind this shopping plaza on Pearl Road. Parma Heights Food Pantry may help you. Is the Parma Heights Food Pantry. It is a small 1,200 foot space filled with big hearted volunteers. I have some receipts, I think. Ann George started the food pantry 13 years ago after hearing two women talking about running out of food by the end of the month. And that bothered me all day. Within a few months, the pantry was open for business. For Ann George, this is a labor of love. I'm 86 years old. And I have had three heart surgeries. I'm on my second pacemaker and I'm still here. Last year, the food pantry helped feed more than 3,800 families. Just this month alone, 161. George told me not only is the need up, but now they are seeing people from across Northeast Ohio, and that is something they've never seen before. That one family took three buses to get here and they had two little children with them. Kids who haven't eaten all day. The food pantry, which is in the business of helping others, is in need of some help itself. Supplies are low and the need is high. My bookkeeper always comes in and shows me, this is how much we have. You better start praying. We were really low. I mean, we had gotten down to like we had one month's rent. The call for help went out. The community, area churches, and businesses are responding. Just this morning, a donation of more than $1,200. As they call around here, the boss. So she gets stuff done, and it's amazing how many people she's, she's touched um, and made their lives just a little bit better. But George told me they can always use more donations, more money, and more volunteers. Several clients declined to be interviewed on camera, but one man told me he is extremely thankful for everything that the volunteers in this pantry do to help him and others. In Parma Heights, Tracy Carlos, News 5.